Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving another JavaScript interview question. And without any any delay, let's get started. So, guys, the question is: In this challenge, the task is to implement a function inventory list. Okay, and the function will maintain the collection of names existing in the inventory. And we have to return a new object with three methods. Okay, so method one is simply to add a name okay a string will be passed as a parameter and we have to add that string to our collection okay and we have to also check that if it is on already existing in the collection then it should not be added and second method is remove we have to simply splice our you know parameter that has been passed from the collection and third one is simple get list in this method we have to simply return an array of names okay so let's see the solution uh, I hope you all have understood the problem so let's start by creating a function the name of function is the name of our function will be inventory list okay <coughs> and this function will simply return an object an object with three methods okay so let's create an empty variable declare an empty variable array okay empty array it is basically uh, now we'll be creating our fun first function add it will be taking an argument that is name okay so what we have to do in this function is simply push this name into our array if it is not already present in our array okay so for that we will simply use our helping function that JS provides us it is index of and if uh, it is equals to minus one okay it means it is not present in our array so we can simply push that name into our array okay. okay so here our function add is complete now we will make another function that is remove here we have to remove the property I mean to say the argument the name that will be passed as an argument okay so for that what we will be doing is we will first check okay if that name is there in our array okay how we will check it we will be using similar index of that is our helping function okay if our index of okay so first write the code okay now if this index is not equals to minus one this means that the content the name is present in our array if the name is present in our array we will simply use another helping function splice that will simply remove that element from the given index okay the index that we pass i is the i from where we have to remove and one is the number of element that we want to remove okay so this function is also complete now we are going to make our third function that is get list okay it will be simply returning an array okay now our final function the main function it will return an object with three methods okay add remove and get list now let's run our code okay first we will have to call our function inventory list uh, now we can access the method like first is function I'm just add so we have simply passed JavaScript as the argument and I will be console logging it logging it so can we so we can get a better idea okay so 
we can simply call get list in our console log yeah here i guess you can see the array and it contains javascript similarly we can add further elements to get better idea let's add java c python you can add more stuff like this c and python now what we can do is we can also call the remove function that is present in our inventory list okay so what we will be doing is fun fun dot remove and simply pass the name that you want to that you want to remove and simply log it down here you can see uh, we are getting um, we are getting only three elements java script java and python okay so that's again yeah to actually we were not getting earlier because it was spliced so now we can just comment and uncomment the few lines of code to get a better idea here okay so we have only three properties now left as we have removed c from our array so guys i hope the problem and the solution is clear to you all so thank you for watching do like share and subscribe